Hi and welcome. In this short Python data science tutorial, we will learn how to carry out unrepeated measures ANOVA using Python stats models and using R and the R package AFX. When it comes to Python, we're going to use the class ANOVA RM. It's a simple method and we will start with an one way repeated measures ANOVA. And we will then continue with a two way repeated measures ANOVA. In the end, we will also look at the differences between how to carry out and repeat the measures ANOVA in R and Python. That is, we're going to do the same analysis using AOV underscore EZ and look at some of the differences between the output and the arguments for each of these methods. So, make sure to watch the entire video, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Let's start coding. Okay, so we start with a one way repeated measures ANOVA and um, we're going to use the ANOVA RM class, but we need to import some data set and we're going to use a pandas data frame. I'm going to create the pandas data frame from um, a CSV file with some data as PD. So we start by importing pandas as PD and from stats models stats ANOVA import ANOVA RM like this and we can have a look at the, doc the documentation here. So help on class ANOVA RM imported from the module. So we see here some parameters, the data, a data frame, that's the first. The dependent variable going to be a string, the subject identifier, a string within, a between subjects factors, it's not impl implemented yet so we can't use that. And if we would like to use uh, an aggregate function, okay, the put in mean, we could use numpy's mean, uh, but we're not going to do that right now. So we have some methods and uh, we can get a fit, the estimate, estimate the module and compute the ANOVA table. So we're going to use that later. But let's uh, start uh, by importing the data set read csv and we have rm of one way csv so this file and other useful links will be linked in the description below okay so we now continue by using anova rm to do the analysis L RM ANOVA RM so DF it's the data frame right and then we continue by RT which is the dependent variable in this data set and sub ID is the subject identifier and within here's a list and cond we only have one within subject variable we create a uh, results the ANOVA table o r m fit and then print res yeah so we can see here we get the degrees of freedom the f value and the p value that's all we get when it comes to stats models ANOVA table. Okay, we'll, we'll now continue with uh, two-way repeated measures ANOVA using Python stats models and the ANOVA RM class. So we have another data set and you can find a link to this in the description below as well. So let's import that by using PD read CSV and rm of 
2way.csv. Uh, we can have a look at uh, the first five rows. Uh, can we, we can see here the subject identifier. We have the same dependent variable. Here we have the two independent var variables, IV1 and IV2. So let's do the two way repeat measures ANOVA. RM, DF2 way. So RT, dependent variable. Sub ID, the subject identifier, and within. Now we have a list here IV1 and IV2, and we get the ANOVA table fit and print the results. So we can see the significant effect of the first independent variable and the second, but there is no significant interaction. So now you know how to do, carry out a one-way ANOVA and a two-way ANOVA using Python stats models ANOVA RM. When carrying out the repeated measures ANOVA using R, we're going to use the library AFX, as previously mentioned. Naturally, we need to start by importing AFX. In R, we can use library AFX to get the packages needed. So we have to wait here. Uh, okay, so now we have AFX loaded and we're going to use the function L underscore EZ. We can get the documentation by typing help. So we can see here there's a lot of a lot of information here, more than in the stats models help for the class. We can see there are a lot of more a lot of more arguments that can be used. So we have the ID identifi identifier as the first dependent variable, the data between, you can use between subjects variables here also, the within, we have a covariate, absurd, fun, aggregates. If you want to do some transformation, the type of ANOVA table, and a lot of uh, other things. We're not going to go into detail here, but you can see the difference is that you have a lot of more options here you can choose from, and you get an, a lot of examples at the end here. Okay, but we're not, so that's one of the differences. So we're going to load some data, the same data set, uh, into a data frame, like that. And then our, our underscore EZ sub ID, the subject identifier go first here. The dependent variable is next, the data frame and within cond. And then we just need to type it in like this in a Jupyter notebook. And we can see here, we get the degrees of freedom, defect, and we also get the mean square error. We get the F value, we get a, a effect size, um, the generator squared, is the default and we get the p-value. So you see the ANOVA table that you get from our EZ, from the R package AFX, 
gives us a little bit more information and if you are publishing in psychology journals you need to have the mean square error and typically an effect size also. Okay, the two-way repeated measures ANOVA using AFX. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to carry out that. Uh, CSV, RM, I'll two-way dot CSV. And I'll two-way. I'll underscore EZ, EZ sub id everything is the same as it in um when you carry out an one way repeat the measures and over except for here you need to use c or combine function to put in your within subjects variables the, the independent variables so, and we see we get the same results basically, but with a bit more information. So, that's it. Now you know how to carry out a repeated measure ANOVA using Python and R, and you know the differences. If you need more information, I would uh, suggest that you use AFX or a uh, other R packages. Hope you learned something and if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Bye!